My name's Rob Dyer. My name's Kyle Massar. Um, right now we're at the Kinsman Skate Park in Newmarket, Ontario, and we're a charity called Skate for Cancer. Basically we skateboarded from LA to Toronto, 7,500 kilometers to raise money and awareness for cancer research. Awesome. Yeah, we went um, from California, went to Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. Went down to uh, New Orleans and we went back up to about Savannah, Georgia. And uh, from Savannah, we went up the East Coast, basically. We went inland a bit to uh, about Washington, D.C., then across Buffalo, across the border, to Ontario. I did um, my training at the Persicini's in Newmarket, which is a gym, and basically did a lot of cardio and physical activity to keep my body moving every day. I just, it was, it, we didn't know for sure if we'd be able to do it, because like, you're on the road and you never know what's going to happen and stuff, but we prepared ourselves the best we could. It's just a regular deck with um, Sector 9 wheels, and they're like... 70 to 75. Yeah, 70 to 75. Um, you used uh, Thunder Trucks with risers on them, so no long boards really, but... So here I am at four, mile 412. Um, it's obvious that I started at 400, so I've done 12 miles. Um, we skated in between 30 to 80 kilometers a day, just basically depended on the day, depended on the weather, everything like that. And it was about six hours approximately a day. Uh, well, the sponsor pulling out halfway through the trip was definitely a major one. Uh, Rob had a couple boards stolen, but that wasn't such a big deal because we had a few extra. The stress fracture was also a pretty big problem. In the beginning of the trip, I developed a stress fracture in my ankle in about Phoenix. So it's about three weeks into the trip, roughly. We have we had vans and circa for our shoes. Uh, we also had West 49 in Canada, which was like they donated money and they were, I guess you could say, moral support and they basically helped advertise on their website stuff like that. Um, we had S&J, which was our major supplier for all our gear and all our skateboards, and they were just terrific the whole way. SKF gave us all our bearings. I think they gave us about 200 sets of bearings for the whole trip. These cops would pull you over and give you a hard time or whatnot, and then they find out what you're doing, and they just kind of be shocked more than anything just because you're a skateboarder, and they're like, what? <laughs> and yeah, actually in Longview, Texas, uh, we rolled into town, and right away a cop pulled us over and kicked us out of town. <laughs> yeah, right away. He didn't want to hear it at all. He was like, he had the big aviators on, he was chewing tobacco, and he was just, he wouldn't let you speak, so he didn't even get, give us a chance to tell him what we were doing, so pretty much escorted us out of town. Uh, we had a fundraiser here at the Kids in the Skate Park, and a whole lot of kids showed up and skated the last five kilometers with us, and it's a nice feeling to be home. And... powerless like we're just I guess I'm less than average person like, <laughs> you know what I mean? like we're just like kids that love to skateboard and we yeah. felt that we could do something to, like to make a difference and just went out there and took a stab at it and it's developed into a huge following